Hi there, this is next installment of my Bearhawk aircraft project highlighting some of the tooling that I'm making to make my project happen. This is what I've gone to so far. This is the fuselage and it's all pretty much uh, complete. It's designed by Bob Barrows and it's kitted by Bearhawk aircraft. I'm actually scratch building the fuselage and I have to make some special tooling to make some parts every now and again and the seats are no exception. This bottom seat frame, the one that's painted, is a seat frame from the factory and you can see that it has this little sheet metal guard. There's actually two of these, there's the pilot's co-pilot side and this little sheet metal guard uh, is on each seat frame to help protect the seat slide from any debris that might fall in there between the pilot's and co-pilot seats. These seat frames are turned upside down. This is the seat frame that I'm, ma I'm making. I'm basically making a copy of this seat frame here. This little sheet metal guard has got about a half inch uh, cord here in a 90 degree bend, 3 eighths inch gap, and then another 90, and then that goes up underneath and gets welded to the seat frame. Well, it's kind of hard to make that on a regular box and pan brake or just on a regular brake, and I'll show you why. If you take a look at my little 36 inch brake over here, got it at a local industrial hardware shop and I've got a regular box and pan brake here and you can see how the fingers extend down at an angle and this is where the bend takes place right here. If you have a cord on a piece of sheet metal that's longer than the gap here where it bends it'll ride up against this finger and won't close down at a 90. In other words, when you take your piece of sheet metal, you roll it up to a 90, scoot it out 3 eighths of an inch, and then try to complete the bend, and the top of the sheet metal hits up against this finger. And this is the end result. It's a piece of sheet metal that's not a complete 90 at the top. And you can squish it, I guess, or try to push those two pieces together, but one of two things are going to happen. You're either going to bow this top part out, or you're going to make the radius on the back side of these two bends larger also, and the part won't look that good. So I decided to go ahead and make a small break that fits in the vise of, um, of my shop here. And I've seen the Harbor Freight ones, I haven't been too impressed and I decided to go ahead and build one and this is what I came up with. I can't claim the design itself. It's a really good design, very simple and actually I ordered the plans offline. It's called Bending Brake 18 inch plans and here's where you get them. It's from Barry Rausch. Reich. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm probably butchering the name but there's a website where you can order the plans. I didn't want the 18 inch, I wanted it a little bit smaller, so I shortened the length of all those dimensions here, the bending bar, the, uh, the, the base of itself, and also the, the hold down uh, angle. I shortened them all by four and a quarter inches from the plans, and that's what I came up with. I painted it blue and yellow only because I like blue and yellow, and it kind of looks kind of nice. But uh, as you can see, there's a little trial piece of sheet metal in here, and because this bending bar, or the bar that the sheet metal bends over, is only a quarter inch thick, I can go as long as up to right here and make a nice bend, and make a really nice flange that actually helps very much with the structural strength of that particular piece. Now this little brake, look at it, it's real simple. It's made out of pretty much half inch bar uh, that's, this is inch and a half wide and then all the pieces are also made out of pretty much the same stock. Three inch angle here and then some other really cool little pieces back here that help adjust the, the bar in and out and actually help also from keep it from sliding back and forth. These nuts definitely hold it down but these will definitely help as well. I just made, made these adjust, adjusting nuts out of uh, just small thread and welded on some little little quarter inch rod to it and then I've got a wing nut here that they specified in the plans to lock that down so you don't have to uh, once you have the, the uh, measurement down you don't have you don't have to worry about messing it up by by bumping it or anything like that and that's really about it 
It's a very nice little box and pan brake. It'll bend something that's about 13 inches long, or 13 inches wide rather. Um, 12 inches would probably be optimum. But I wanted to go ahead and have something here in the shop. I'm sure I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of it because there's so many tiny little brackets and little angles that are going to be made for the aircraft. And this is going to be perfect for making them. And I'm really happy with that I finally decided to go ahead and make one, take the time. And now I've got something, another useful tool in the shop that can do something that nothing else can that I have. So I hope you like the video. And like I said, this is where you want to get the plans to get this. They're, uh, they're well worth it. The plans are very, very nicely done. The instructions are very good. They're all CAD drawings. drawings. And also tells you what tools you need and also the sequence of construction. That's about it. Hope you have fun building yours.